Alright, so as Ronnie mentioned in a previous video, he also just recently saw Lord of the Rings for the first time. What did you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, to begin, I love to read. I am a reader. I understand syllables and enunciation and um, what's the word? Um, definitions and I'm really good at um, like reading a sign and knowing like what it says so I really am a very good reader and I try I just recently started to read the Lord of the Rings the fellowship of the ring and I've made it through 40 pages and I'm not gonna lie it is boring the book is boring. Oh, I know so many people are going to hate me for that because, oh, don't ever talk about the hobbits or any of that. And everyone has their own little favorite and blah, blah, blah. All this nerd stuff is all the same. There's always the good guy that's like really scrawny and scary about everything that you know is going to make it all the way through. But it's going to take three movies before they finally do it. Someone that is actually saving the good guy's ass the entire time dies, and then it's really sad, but the good guy still wins, but really it was the other person that was the whole reason they made it anyway. I have a feeling that's what's about to happen with Acorn, whatever his name is. There's the guy who loves the wizard lady, the elf, uh, Liv Tyler, and then the dude, uh, Vito, Vitamin, Vorgensen. I don't know, anyway. But so I went into it, <clears throat> you know, with an open mind. And definitely not going to judge this boring dork book. Like, I was totally open. Like, I don't ever uh, stereotype or, you know, have preconceived notions about anything. Especially all the nerd shit that surrounds me. Like, I don't have any negative feelings about it. I... Open mind, clean slate. So, had to put the book down because, let's face it, it would make better uh, firewood than it would actually to read on account of how boring it is. But the movie is different, and it has the little Elijah Wood, the most lesbian-looking man I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. He just is just the dykiest little thing you'll ever see with those big hoof feet with all the fur on him and stuff and the little fat guy uh what's he he's an Aston you know he was like in um his friend Sam is that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he was in oh no he went he's not in that that's Sean no that's Sean yeah. Mackenzie Aston that's what I was thinking of okay scratch that that guy didn't do anything that I like but the other Aston guy he was in Facts of Life now, if you want to ask me about that, I could go on for hours. Anyway, Lord of the Rings, see the Fellowship of the Ring, the first movie. Um, also, I'm watching them on Blu-ray. So, there are two discs because uh, the movie was um, 18 days long. And it was good. I really enjoyed it. Except for the part with um, all of the other people except the wizard. I liked the wizard. All the other people were annoying. And are they in New Zealand? I think is so. Is that where yeah. it is? I really like the way um, um, a lot of the people died. That was a good part. But my very favorite part happened <clears throat> like a trumpet. In the second film, which is probably like the third disc of 19 discs for all these amazingly descriptive tales that J.R.R. R. Tolkien wrote. Isn't that his name? J.R.R.? R. Yeah. Uh, Gollum. I love Gollum. He is fun. He is carefree. 
He is practically nude for the entire film. And I just really like the way he is committed to what he's doing. And that I think he's trying to fuck over the hobbits. And someone really should do something about Elijah Wood and his dykiness.